Evening. <coughs> it's the 17th of August and we're at the Malvern Show. Yeah, get your Stetsons out. It's the Western weekend. It is. Um, it's late Thursday evening now. We've been here a fair few hours, had the afternoon off work, got here earlier. Nothing open tonight other than the food courts and the bar. <laughs> Why not? I think there's... Um, yeah, I meant the entertainment the inside. Oh, yeah, we can't take the yeah. dog inside, but they've got an outdoor seating area this year. Yeah, which is brilliant. And so a, and a big marquee. Big marquee. Oh. So uh, yeah, we'll show you around more the show later in the vlog. Tomorrow, Friday for us, it's supposed to be raining. Fingers crossed it isn't, but it doesn't look good. Saturday looks a lovely day, so we'll try and cram it all in. And uh, we're about to try and knock up some retro re retrobates that way that way reprobates we're all here we could be an outtake can't hello, we? hello no we don't do outtakes don't no. you no it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's on the farm it's helen and martin hello <laughs> you must watch them they're famous <laughs> <laughs> if only <laughs> anyway let's just say that they're Editing skills. <laughs> the good news is, being from Yorkshire, the bar's shut and you can bring your own. Yeah. So that's what we've done. <laughs> anyway, we're going to Tesco's for your gin. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow now. That's, Bye. That was really it. Bye. Afternoon. Hello. <laughs> it's uh, Friday afternoon. We've had a really lazy morning. It's been raining though, hasn't it? <clears throat> we're not yes. going to lie. Um, yeah, it's been a rainy morning, so we've just lazed in the van. We've got a break in the weather now, so we're going to have a look round the show. Um, although tomorrow and Sunday are supposed to be really sunny, so we might do a bit more tomorrow. But we thought we'd just try and tie the video together. <laughs> we had a great night last night with Helen and Martin. Yep. Just catching up. Not much filming. Well, only the silly little bit that you've just seen, really. <laughs> because, yeah, you know. Yeah, she's found the gin, you know it. <laughs> oh, he's got a bigger pole than me. I've got pole envy, look. Definitely a bigger erection, what do you think? Yeah, if you get that... I'm not. I don't know where Helen hasn't got a drink. Has she got? Oh, she's in her hand, obviously. There. Poppy's hiding it. Yeah, I'm not. Mine, mine's nearly finished. Finished off. Total honesty. After we walked off yesterday, saying we were going to film around the show, we did absolutely bugger all. And it's now another day, and it's really sunny. Yesterday was <laughs> grim and overcast. Um, I think I got the camera out once or twice. We were filming the reenactment thing and then they started firing guns poppy was crapping herself <laughs> and we just wandered off and we've been talking and chatting all day yesterday uh we had an evening in the, the yeah, marquee in this marquee us, behind us because it was raining but oh. actually to tie this a bit together when we got back to the van yesterday because it had been so grim and dark all day the batteries were flat if you remember a few months ago uh, we had an issue with the batteries when we were away and we found the tank heaters had been left on probably after it had had its hab check and uh, the batteries were really flat. Now we've coped okay all through the summer because we've either been on hook up or had really sunny days. Mm -hmm. But yesterday we got back, van was on 11 volts and the lights were flickering when we turned them on. So luckily we've got the EcoFlow with us. So we threw the batteries on charge overnight and they're okay this morning, but they're clearly knackered. They're nearly three years old anyway. So we're gonna have a quick look around the show again and see if we can find a bargain battery really aren't we yeah um, no we're not going to go lithium or anything like that because don't forget the van is going to be sold within six months so unfortunately we're going to find a couple of cheapish batteries we found some online which we can collect on Monday just in case but if we can find some at the show we'll do that mm -hmm. we are hoping as well to try and get out for a bike ride later but this battery is thrown as a curveball as per usual Rick is, Rick is worried about you know it being looking professional <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he bothers, yeah, but no, there you go. It's never going to no. look professional, is it? So anyway, we will promise we'll throw the camera around. We found a really good 
bike carrier, didn't we? Yeah. Um, it's quite expensive, but it does look really yeah. nice. And might be worth us seeing if we can go and video that now. Yeah, maybe. While um, it's quiet. Yeah, we might be tempted with one of them. You don't have to have a tow bar. Yeah. But it doesn't fit on a tow bar mounted. It fits on the hinges. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, but it's not cheap. No, it's not cheap. No. But the new van's not cheap anyway and we're yeah. pe you know the new van is a keeper for a long time so we are thinking invest now we'll see yeah anyway All like right. I say batteries first yeah. quick look there look second hand CV 60 60 grand 22 plate um, I'm not strangely for me I'm not gonna walk around and film vans this time um, for no other reason than we've got an, a Brown Hills event coming up and I like filming vans there. Um, you can get a better look round. I don't want to hog a van while people are walking round and having a look with the potential to buy it, you see. We walked round everywhere yesterday, but I just, like I said, I didn't get the camera out. We've just been to one battery place and no joy, they're too high. We need 190. And they were 210. We've been told there is another one up here. Another no go. Uh, sold out of batteries on that one. So it does look like the, the ones we found online we can collect on Monday anyway. It's no big deal. We just thought we might find a bit of a bargain here. Um, we're going to go and try and find the, the bike rack thing to show you that bike rack. Um, because it was really good. Well, that's it, exactly. <laughs> this is the thing. Remind us to do it. LNB, I think the, it was called, wasn't it? The tow bar company. LNB. Um, yeah, as I was saying, NEC show in October. Um, we're going to go. I think I'm going to have the day off work and we'll go on a Friday on a Friday this time it was manic on the Saturday do you want, do you want to get your room um, oh I've got to get my brush haven't I as well I need, I need a new brush yes this is the way to do it come out early yeah if it was yeah it's pouring down Keeping yesterday it, down. it was to be honest we did well yesterday um, oh we bought some new ramps didn't we yesterday that reminded me what are we looking at do you sell loads of batteries no we don't that's all right just thought we'd ask <laughs> thank you bless her she's trying she's trying um yeah we bought some new ramps yesterday because we broke the big ones god in scotland a couple of years ago and we've been living with a pair of fiamma little tiny ones and we've always been on the limit of just about going over the top of them. But we've been looking for a set that were quite firm on the bottom. We found some two-lay ones yesterday. They were good. Uh, but that's all, all for purchases at the minute. But yeah, Heather's just remembered I do need a new brush, one of them big long brushes. Here's our friends at E-Ranger Look. Had a word with them yesterday. Gonna have a look at Heather's bike later. We're gonna get it off and bring it down. See you later. We will get the bikes off later. No, uh, we're planning on going on a ride up there. <laughs> we, will, we, we will do. I got my pole up. And the brush. Oh yeah. We're still looking for the tow bar place. Christmas puddings, it's never too early. Oh, we went to the Kadak stand yesterday as well. Yes. There's Consort, look. Yeah, we went to the Kadak stand yesterday. Our Kadak was playing up, but we now know what we've done and what to look for. We think a repair is imminent. Man told us common fault, user error. <laughs> it's always going to be user error. Yeah, yeah. 
Right, we're going to try down this one. It was somewhere over that way, wasn't it? Get the wind blockers on you. We we got we've got some, yeah. but we got them from Flexi Shades, <laughs> Soz. But we, you know, we we bought your thing and we we publicised yeah. your thing. But you see, I don't mean black to match your skin. I, well, yeah, but the new van, you change, you change. the new van's grey. <laughs> yeah, well. I do a grey screen, you know. I know. Well, I, wind blockers to match. I said yesterday, we'll have a new grey screen when the new grey van comes. She's not impressed with that idea, but I'm not having a black one on a grey van. It's already started going grey. Well, it has. Well, yeah, I it's mean, faded I'm, now. Yeah, it is. If anybody still asks where we got the screen cover from, this is the man, Minster Products, and we, as we always say, we paid full price. And we only do this. We only recommend stuff if we like it and we buy it, and it's bloody good stuff. So. There you go. But yeah, sorry, we did get them from Flexi Shades. No. No, you didn't, no. Grey's been out about 18 months. Yeah. There you go, look. We bought, we bought ours before we even got Yeah, we bought it before we bought the van. Because we bought it at Peterborough when everything opened up in 2020. So that was ours. But yeah, look. Nice new grey one. We had a silver one on our Shousen. But yeah, like the grey one. So we'll be getting one of them for the new van, no doubt. And if you really want to know, they do bike covers as well. Uh, people always ask us where we got our bike cover from. We actually got it from Amazon, but this looks quality stuff as well. So here's the reenactment area. We did have a quick look at this yesterday, but as we said, the guns scared the dog to death. And uh, we filmed this a few years ago when we were here anyway, so. Two different reenactments. I think that's what I like about this particular show, is that there seems to be a bit more going on. Yeah. You know, entertainment-wise as well. Yeah. We're not doing very well at having a quick wander around. We keep getting stopped, and that's fine. So this is the the bike rack from LNB. You can see it fits on the hinge like that. Yeah, so this is what we're wanting because the new van's going to have a garage at the back yeah. and we oh, need okay. to get in. Yeah. Whereas our bike rack at the minute goes on the tow ball and we can't open yeah, the back yeah, doors. Yeah, yeah. You got this one, you can keep yeah. the tow bar if you got one on there. Well, we won't have a that's the thing, we yeah. won't bother having a tow bar on yeah. the new van because we only have the tow bar on this van yeah. to have the bike rack on. But as you can see, this, it's really, yeah, really it's strong. Really, really, really so this bit here, this pops open, so you see by this bit. He couldn't get that to move yesterday, the guy. Mm. No, he, no got, he, got the thing he, he got the thing down by doing these, mm. but he said, he said this had been tightened too much. It, ah, you've done it. Uh, yeah, a little pin. Yeah, he tried so, that. Ah, yeah, well. Yeah, it's a twist pin. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, it's, it's so, it's so... So it's so easy because it kind of just this the, the holder. Ah, oh, okay. And if you move the pin and keep it on the, the higher bit, it just pushes it out. Pushes it out. Uh, it's quite tight. It, it makes you scared to. Yeah. If you haven't really done it as much, it makes I you scared to do maybe, it. Maybe he was a bit scared to do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then you got these bits here. So each side and screw these little handles. Just pops down. Yeah. See, that's that's a. And then all you do is screw them back in. You don't want to bounce it on. Right, so, so. There you go, and then it's, that's going to be yeah, really here, that's going to be in there. You've got a pin that goes in here and then the screw and handle, which is inside there at the moment. Yeah. But there you go, you see, nice little LED lights. Yeah, it's nice. You've got the fair light as well, so it's nice and bright. There you go. And you've got the two, two holders here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, very good. And that's it from the side. As you can see, the profile really does add maybe maximum a foot on the back of the van. When it's folded up, you can see it's actually not far out from the swan neck of the tow bar. So I think we're pretty sold on one of them. So it is that it is that Saw Eco van bike too. This is that model, isn't it? It is. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's nice that. Right. So we're out on the bikes. Got Mick and Jane with us, leading the way. I'm going to try and get up here somewhere. I've no idea where we're going. Notice how she doesn't squeal as much when it's not Heather in front. She's still unhappy. She's not as bad. Heather's behind. 
but yeah looking like a lovely afternoon a bit windy but uh, hoping to get a good view of the site from up there to be honest and if the camera will pick up all the camper vans and motorhomes down there <laughs> just to show you how low how steep this is I've got my brakes on here I have no idea if you can hear me. Some absolutely lovely sights through Morven. Um, just had a lovely afternoon in the pub beer garden. I think Doris is behind us. Best thing about the way back, it's all downhill. Yay! Although I think it's too windy, you probably can't hear me. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad. Nice view of the hills there, where we've we've gone round in a big circle really. Oh come on, I've had mine chipped. You've got you've got no chance. Come on Jane, I'm giving you a chance. Oh come on! Oh, I'm one handed! <laughs> hey up, hey up. It's um Saturday evening. It is. We're just sat outside in the sort of the food court area I guess. Um in the marquee behind you cannot get in there it's rammed which is fine but this is the area you can take dogs in which is quite weird really because last night when it was i suppose it stopped people from coming out because it was raining it was raining um, but last night you know you needed the market marquee because it was raining yeah yeah um, whereas tonight you don't really need the marquee no. and it's still rammed but like i say more people but we don't mind, we've only popped out for an hour or two tonight. Uh, we've just met six SNL owners. Yes. Which was nice. Uh, there are three SNL vans here today. And they're all having a little group party, which was nice to pop in and see them, weren't it? Yep. Um, so, yeah, I think that was the first honorary SNL meet, really, to be honest. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we have got back off the bikes, obviously, had dinner packed all the van up ready to go we will be dropping off early-ish in the morning somebody wants to get back home and watch the England ladies World Cup, World Cup final Come on, England. there you go so I think that'll probably be it for tonight it's going dark anyway and we'll pick you up in the morning as we're driving off cheers morning all right then <laughs> so, somebody's not somebody's happy. Somebody's not happy. She did not want to get up. Five to seven. Five to eight. Five to eight. Sorry. Yeah. Look, she's falling she's back to sleep <laughs> now. You're right. You can go back down you into your bed, in bed and, in and fall to sleep. Um, yeah, we're up early. Just about to leave the Malvern show. We appreciate there's a full Sunday if you want it, but we've seen everything around the show. We've bought what we wanted. Um, we've had a good weekend with friends. Thanks to Mick and Jane, great company as always, and to Helen and Martin. Uh, we've had some fun evenings with all of them. Yep. And uh, But yeah, in typical fashion, we've both got work tomorrow, and you just got to get stuff done before you get back to work. So yep. we'd be crazy if we stayed for the day and then went back. So Plus the traffic will be better now. Yeah, the traffic's better early on. <laughs> M5, don't even go there. M42. 42. Yeah. Anyway, down you get pop. So, I think on the Facebook group, well, join in, that if you, you haven't, I did say I was going to throw this one out of order because it would be topical. But we've really not done a lot around the show. So, so you might not. Oh, well, I won't. But you'll well, know that because you'll have just seen this one after Swanage. <laughs> Makes sense if you watch them all in order. I um, don't know what's happening. 
and I know Heather moans at me, but I do apologize. This one is gonna definitely have not made a great deal of flowing sense because we say, oh yeah, we're just gonna do this. And then we started talking or we seen friends and- That's life. And that's is. what we do. We actually, you know, film our life. We've got a dog life. that says sausages and everything. <laughs> that's life, it was a topical joke. Anyway, we're away. I started it early because we were, I want to be off by the time. I don't like doing it on the main road anymore, so. Have you got anything else to say, dear? No, no. dear. Dear. Oh. Basil Fawlty called Sybil dear, didn't he? And we're going to oh. go, no, 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 this way's better. All oh, right, okay. There was a tent that way. I had a recco this morning. Good. We've got a better swing out this way, missus. And we're away, we're on to the roadie part. Right. Yeah, I don't think you appreciate how many vans are here till you go up that hill and look down. Yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell, it's massive. Anyway, um, trying to think where we will be on next week's video. Oh yeah, hasn't happened for us yet. But we'll be in Ripon. Hopefully. Hopefully, yeah, the weather's looking terrible. But mm. we should be in Ripon. Well, oh. we'd, we'd, we're definitely going to see Anthony it, it, on Friday. Yeah, we're definitely going up to Yorkshire. Oh, we're definitely anyway. going Yorkshire way. So, yeah. there you go. Anyway, latest creators. <laughs> bye bye. Ta da.